Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? You got time now. Click it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Today, we are going to take a look at a product that one of my viewers actually suggested I try. Hi, Kristen. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Kristen got really excited and I think her comment was this long when I looked at it. <laughs> she was very excited about this paint she wanted me to try. And then she then sent a second post saying, I'm so sorry I sounded salesy. Hey, we all sound salesy when we get excited about a new product, right? We like want everybody to know about it. We want everybody to try it. So if you guys want me to try a product, I'm going to try it. And the nice thing was, is the paint that she wanted me to try is called Heirloom Traditions. And they have a free sample program. You have to pay shipping, which I think was like $6.95, $6, somewhere in there. It wasn't much. I mean, it's, it's less than I pay for some paints I've tried. <laughs> So it was kind of nice. And when I went on their website and I picked my sample, I certainly didn't expect this as a free sample. This is a full eight ounce size sample. Now I've gotten other samples that come in the little sealed bags. That's worthless. I can't paint anything with that. I mean, I can lay it out on a board, but if you're gonna send me a free sample. Take, take note of what Heirloom Traditions did. This is a this is a sample like I can try this and decide if I like it. That's awesome. But this is called Heirloom Traditions All-in-One Paint that I got French Toile because it's blue, y'all blue. So I wanted to try it because like I know nothing about this paint. Kristen was raving about the paint. She loves it, loves it, loves it. She's you can use it on fabric. You can use it on. It's like a chalk paint. However. When I was reading it, I took it out of the box and it says our unique water-based interior formula has a bonding primer built in. The primer is built in. A wax finish and exterior grade top coat. Exterior grade top coat is exactly what it says. And I went, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> I am gonna... Oh, anyway, I put this through its paces. I have some exterior stuff I need to paint. Um, all in one step. And it, it does talk about where if you have like a darker piece that might have the tannins in it. You know, we've talked about that with chalk paint before, any water-based formula with tannins or cigarette smoke, things like that is still going to leach through. So they did say, you know, a blocking primer for that. So what they have in here is a bonding primer. The difference is it's not stain blocking. So there's okay in the paint world there's a lot of different kind of primers you guys there's a sealing primer there's a blocking primer there's a bonding primers there's high tack prime it's a lot so this is just a bonding primer it's not a, a stain blocking so if i had something from the 1930s like a waterfall dresser or a night waterfall night anything from the 1930s with that cherry finish on it is going to have those high tannins in it and a water base is gonna leach those right up to the top. And it doesn't matter how many coats you put on, it's gonna leach up to the top. So they they did put that actually in their description, which a lot of chalk paints do not do. Thank you for that, for explaining to people why they're having that yellowing problem. Um, I did a whole post about it on my blog. I can put a link in the descriptions below about why your chalk paint is yellowing. So at least they explain that, that you're gonna have to do a stain blocking primer like a bonding primer like a now this is the bonding primer i know what i'm saying i haven't slept much i got a new puppy anyway um so that i like i like that they're being really really honest but we're gonna try this on the footstool i picked up at the garage sale you're actually sitting on it and i know you were sitting on it did you that's why you're up so high <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to try French toile because blue is like gold. Like you paint a footstool gold or, or 
the painted foot's still blue or white and it just sells. So it's like money. But I'm gonna open up, I have not opened this. You're seeing it here first, folks. So I don't know what kind of smell it's gonna have. All right, come on out. Oh. Doesn't have a huge smell. Nothing. And I have a lot of smell issues. Like I am not a big fan of different perfumes and I am allergic to perfumes, dyes, and scent sensitive, I think somebody called me once. So yeah, I'm scent sensitive. So if this were like annoyingly icky, I would tell you, look at, oh, that's a good consistency though. It's not as dry as chalk paint. More like a latex. Stir it up. You don't need to watch that, hang on. And you guys, this sample is full to the top. Like, can you see it? It's hard to stir, they put so much in here. They're not skimping, like it's not down here. It is like up to the rim. They're not like, here's your free sample and it's half full. Like, I don't I mean, it is pricier than like, it, it's the, it's comparable to any chalk paint as far as price, but like latex paint, obviously I buy oops paint. It's going to be more expensive than that. But if it's a one step with exterior grade clear coat in it, I actually have a front door I need to paint. <laughs> I'm going to be redoing my porch here coming up and my front door is so faded from the sun that, uh, if this is exterior grade clear, I may use it. Yeah. Sanding? No, it says no. It says clean it and go. So we're not doing it. We're doing exactly what they tell us to do. We're going to clean and go. Got a brush. Any brush you like. I'm not going to sell you a brush, but I like this one. It's an art brush, actually. And on smaller projects, I like the control because it fits my hand. So that's my only requirement. It's got good paint flow and it fits my hand. Um, my other ones are, because people keep asking about my brushes, Purdy brand. So I have Purdy in different sizes for larger projects. And then I have the art brushes. These I got on Amazon, flat uh, one and a half inch. So when I'm working on smaller projects, that's what I use is art, art brushes. I don't know, somebody saw these brushes and they were like, "Where? Did, what kind of brushes are these? are not like at the furniture store or this is just an art brush. I love art brushes. My husband's an artist, so sometimes he'll, he'll come home with a brush and I'm like, I want that. <laughs> Let's get you switched around so you can see me paint and then we'll go on. Hey, sorry about the weird angle. This thing has bars and legs and it's hard to get in here and let, let you guys see what's happening. So I'm gonna put that over there. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. What's going on? Still no smell. Okay, so it's not like a one coat coverage, obviously. It's probably not going to be when you're going light over dark. I don't think there's any product that's a one coat coverage. Um, it's going on like a normal latex paint. I'm not feeling any drag. Not at all. Not feeling a drag. No, I can't see because I got a leg in front of me. See, this is this is a hard thing to film. Way to go, Stacy. And I always start on the underneath of projects. Why? I don't know. Because to me, it's the most putsy part. Get that out of the way first. Then you have the rest of your day to look forward to. It's got good coverage though. It's a good color, good coverage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it so far. I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse. I'm gonna finish it up. Dries to the touch in one to two hours. I finished the top and the bottom feels like it's dry to the touch already. Maybe I didn't put a thick enough coat on. 
I don't want a thick coat. It's dry. It's dry under here. This is dry. Like here, let me find a clean finger. Look, this finger's clean. It's dry. All my other fingers have paint on them. <laughs> Like, can't prove it with those fingers, but uh, yeah, the bottom's dry. And I'm not doing a perfect coat on this because the footstools, the more rustic looking they are, the better. So it's kind of got a streaky, draggy look. Let me show you. So I wanted it to have like a streaky coat on it because for some reason, that's what people in this area want. They don't want it perfectly coated. Um, so don't don't take that as a product defect. You can see it does cover quite nicely. Um, this is more me. <laughs> that's a personal preference. So that's not the product. Uh, it does cover quite well. Covered my finger really well. And honestly, it doesn't feel like chalk paint. It's weird. It's different. Hmm. Let's wait for it to dry before we make judgment. Um, this is fun. <laughs> this is nice as far as dry time. This is dry. Let's see. Oh, not dry there. Okay. No, now somebody's got my fingerprints on file. I'm gonna get rid of that. <laughs> I don't want you to have my fingerprints. There we go. It's gone. Now they don't know me. No, I have never committed a crime. Why do you ask? It's done. It's dry. It's, it is what it is. When it dried, it laid down so nice and flat and the detail on it is really nice. Let me show you. Okay. So there it is all dry. It's, it's nice. It's smooth. It feels like it's been clear coated. It's a matte finish. You can see, let me move the light around you can see it's got a matte finish to it um let's see. i wanted to see if it would scratch off real easy i don't want it to at this point so that's why i'm wondering if the bonding primer is working so that's why i'm like let's scratch at it let's scratch at it seems to be working actually that's pretty wonderful so this is, like I said, Heirloom Traditions All-in-One Paint. And this is their color selector. It comes in some colors, y'all. Like, not a pure white, though. Cashmere is as close as it gets to a pure white, and that looks to be like an off-white. Is there a pure black? Iron Gate looks to be like a black. And like, seriously... That's an array of colors right there. It's pretty. Wow. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> so Kristen, thanks for sharing this with me. I'm definitely gonna be using that. I think I'm gonna use this on my mother-in-law's front door at the cabin because this is the color that we were looking at, this blue for that front door. And this will be so much nicer than a primer coat, a top coat, you know, primer, two coats of paint and a top coat. Cause once it says right on it, like I went to the website. I don't know if it says right on it. Might've just lied to you. Okay, so I went to the website and they were talking about painting a front door. So I read through the details on it and it said, once it's dry to the touch, you can close the door. And that was my biggest concern was, what if I paint the door and it doesn't dry? And then it's like, you know how sometimes when you have multiple coats of paint, you don't get it done in time and it doesn't dry before you have to close the door at night? What are we gonna do, right? And my mother-in-law didn't want that. I understand that. We don't want the door hanging up. I mean, we could close the screen door and lock it, but nice to have the door that closes. You know what I mean? If you're going to paint your front door, you want to be able to close it. So it did say online that once it's dry to the touch, you can close the door without worrying about that, you know, you painted yourself in. So I think I'm going to use it. I'm going to go up and paint her door. 
I'm kind of excited to paint her door. This is so pretty, this blue. And it's laid down really, really nice. Like it's smooth, it's coated, it's beautiful. Yeah, get yourself a free sample. I'll put a link in the description. I'm not an affiliate. Um, I didn't even look to see if they had an affiliate. So, um, but free sample and then you pay shipping. And I, like I said, I think it was six, was it $5.95 or $6.95? I don't know. It was under 10 bucks to get an eight ounce. Look at this thing. I barely touched the surface of using this. It, it's not even down to the lip yet. That's how much I put on this footstool. So there's going to be like, I'm definitely, you'll see me paint her door with this. I'd get a free sample. Pick a color, any color. <laughs> Give it a try. Do you want to paint your front door red? There you go. Get some red, paint your door. It can be done in a couple hours. Nice. I actually do like that. So, all right. Thanks for watching everyone. If you haven't yet gotten your t-shirts. Don't forget to get yours. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe link. I'm going to have to keep asking people. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It's like gold, you guys. Like giving me a thumbs up is awesome. And I love hearing from you. If there's another product that you want me to try, if there's a product that you love and I haven't mentioned it. Yeah. Like Kristen said, she feels like she's selling me this product. You don't have to sell too hard. Just, you know, reach out to me and let me know. Hey, try this, try that. I love trying new paints. Cause like this, I find products that work or I find the Angelus leather paints or I find it that again was another reader on the blog requesting me to look for fabric paints. So I haven't tried this on fabric yet. There might be a video coming, who knows? I think we found a new friend. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. Happy junkin, bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.